Hello, I'm Barbara Chisholm. I serve as, as the bursar at Tuskegee University. I am responsible for student accounts, the cashiers, and loan collections. I am also responsible for TU One Stop Central. Let me tell you some things about the locations of these places I'm speaking of. The bursar's office is located in Kresge Center on the first floor. That's where you would go to make payments, uh, to sign any kind of documents, and to check on book vouchers. TU One Stop Central is, is set up for a streamlined registration process and is only open during critical registration periods. So TU One Stop will be open from August the 14th to August the 25th for registration. And it will close down and reopen for spring registration. Uh, you will hear often the phrase, you must be financially cleared in order to check into your residence hall and also to access Blackboard where you get all of your classroom assignments. Financially clear means that you've paid your bill, your tuition, your fees, and your room and board. Please understand that the $500 that you should have already paid is just the beginning of what is expected at Tuskegee University. The $500 gets you your class schedule and your housing assignment, period. $50 of that $500 will go toward your fall payments, and $450 of that $500 is held as a security deposit for your housing until you move off campus. Now, to become financially clear, you need to have all your money in place. It could be a combination of financial aid, it could be personal funds, it could be outside scholarships, and it could even be our tuition management payment plan, all combined to equal what your bill says you owe. Once that's in place, then the Bursar's office staff can flag you as a registered student at Tuskegee. Having a schedule in the system does not mean you're registered. Paying your bill means you're registered at Tuskegee. So I encourage everybody who's embarking upon coming to Tuskegee August the 14th, make sure before you leave home that you are financially cleared. You can verify your financial clearance by logging into your Tiger Web account on the front page down to the bottom right click on registration status and if you see the word registered fall then you are financially clear and you are able to check into your residence hall. Please keep in mind too that students who don't take care of business in a timely manner will receive a $300 late fee. The tuition management plan that I mentioned to you, you can defer 6000 of your bill to pay over five months or four months depending on which one you choose. It is a program with a third-party vendor called Tuition Management Systems. You must enroll in the payment plan with TMS. You cannot do that when you come to Tuskegee. So you take care of that before you leave home. And it would be good, I encourage everyone to enroll in that plan if you need to use it in July so that you have the full five months to pay. If you wait till the end of July, you might as well enroll for four months because payments are due on the first of each month. If you choose to wait to July the 20th and enroll in the plan and make your first payment, your next payment is due August the 1st. So keep in mind, timing is everything. You cannot enroll in TMS at Tuskegee. It has to be done through tuition management. To call tuition management, the number is 800-722-4867 or you can enroll online at tuskegee.afford.com. Also, in your financial aid awards, please remember that if you were awarded loans, you, in order, if you accept those loans, you have to submit the paper application, and after financial aid certifies that loan, you'll have to go online to studentloans.gov and sign the promissory note and complete entrance counseling. Promissory notes and entrance counseling are required of the student for the direct sub and unsub loans and for the parent for the plus loan. Parents applying for the plus loan, you log into the studentloans.gov under your own social security number and apply for the plus loan. And financial aid will retrieve that information. For new students, loans will not disperse to your account until 30 days after classes start. So you will not be in a refund category until at least 30 days after classes start. We are required to verify that you have attended classes for the first week so we will not even post the other aid to your account until after classes have been in session for a full week. Um, again,
financially clear to check into the residence hall, and financially clear to access Blackboard. You need to be financially clear before August the 14th. It would be better to be clear by August the 11th, which gives you time and us time to make sure that you have a smooth transition to Tuskegee University.